Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel 3D Parametric Solid Model Drawings. Today we will create a model Tire 2 in Autodesk Inventor. The design of the model has been taken from our suspension assembly. We have already uploaded a complete video of the assembly. You can go to my channel to view this video. Okay, alright. Now we are showing the image of this model so that you can understand it easily. If you want to get the file of this model, I have given the link address in the description of my video. By visiting that link, you can get it easily. Okay, let's start the tutorial. Now we will create a new inch power file in Autodesk Inventor. Click OK. Alright, let's start the sketch on the XY plane. Now we will choose different view. OK, activate the project geometry command from here. And take the project of YZ plane and exit plane. Convert the vertical line into construction geometry. And convert the horizontal line into a center line. Now we will draw the lines in the design window something like this. Activate the dimension tool from here and select this line and center line ok and apply the diameter dimension 1.885 inches. Now we will select this line and this line and apply the dimension 0 0.07 inches. Now select this vertical line and the end point and fix the dimension 0.23 inches. Select this line and center line, ok, and apply another diameter dimension on here, it will keep 2.045 inches. Ok, that's it. Now we will activate the documents settings option. Go to the units tab and change the linear dimension display value up to 5 places. Ok, alright. Now we will activate the mirror tool from here and select the all sketch lines. Ok, now choose the mirror line option. Now select this central construction vertical line, click the apply button. Ok, now see the result. Now we will create an arc between both the sketches to connect it. Ok, create a point on the midpoint of the arc. And fix the diameter dimension 2.6 inches between this point and center part origin. Now we will fix the coincident constraint over the center point of the arc and part origin. Now 
Now we will add the dimension 1.045 inches between these two vertical lines. Now we will take an offset of this sketch inside the direction. Okay, and fix the offset distance value 0.05 inches. Now we will create the vertical line on the both sides to complete the sketch. My sketch is fully constrained on here. So now we will exit from the sketching environment. Now we will activate the revolve tool from here. It will automatically pick up the sketch profile. Okay. Now you can see the revolve preview is visible here in the design window and click OK to finish the command. Now my base wall of the tire is created by using this tool. Now we will apply the fillets on the side edge of the tire model like this. The fillet radius will keep 0.125 inches. Okay, it looks great. Now we will save the part with the name tire2 in the suspension folder. Okay, click save. Now choose XY plane, A sketch, okay. Now choose the front view on here and activate the slice graphics command. Now we will activate the project cut edges command. Now you can see here the entire projected sketches of the tire part are visible by using this tool. Now take the offset of this outer curve inside. Okay. Fix the offset distance value 0 0.0297 inches. and drag both end points of the curve like this. Ok, finish the sketch. Activate the revolve command once again. And choose the surface option. Now select the offset curve on here and select the axis option. We have selected the x axis for the axis of the revolution. Select the angle option and revolve angle value will keep 90 degrees. Choose the symmetric option and click OK. Now see my revolve surface has been created on here. and hide the visibility of this surface revolve feature. Now we will create a work plane at an offset distance value 1.375 inches from the exit plane. Ok, let's start the new sketch on this plane. 
now choose the top view and take the project of these side edges of the revolve feature and xy plane now hide the visibility of this rock plane We draw an R on here like this. And its radius will keep 0.87442 inches. Fix the vertical dimension point. 32681 one inches between the arc center point and this line. Fix the horizontal dimension point 76496 six inches between center origin point and arc center point. Apply one more dimension on here, it will keep 0.24551 inches. Okay, that's it. Now we will draw an aligned line over the end of the arc. And fix the tangent constraint between this line and this arc. Create another arc on here, its radius will keep 0 0.0625 inches. And apply tangent constraint on over it. Now create a slanted line on here. This line dimension will keep 0 0.10436 inches. Now we will take the offset of the sketch in outside, okay, and fix the offset distance value 0 0.0415 inches. Now we will draw an arc between these two endpoints of the sketch to connect it. And fix the dimension 0 0.12477 7 inches between these two points. Apply the tangent constraint between this arc and this aligned line. Now fix another vertical dimension on here, it will keep 0.2825 inches. Now we will fix the coincident constraint between this point and the outer projected edge. And draw a vertical line between these two endpoints to close the sketch region. Okay, finish the sketch. We will open the visibility of surface revolve feature from the browse bar and activate the extrude command from here. Now we will select the two option under the extents area. Then next we will select this surface. Okay, now select the cut option and click OK. Hide the visibility of this revolve feature. Now see cut extrude feature has been created on here. It is looking perfect.
Now we will activate the circular pattern tool and select the cut extrude feature from the browse bar. Now I will choose the rotation axis option. Okay, now select the x axis from the browse bar. Fix the occurrence count value 15 and click OK to finish the command. Now we will create a mirror of this circular pattern feature by selecting YZ plane. Okay, all right, now see the result. Now my tire model is looking very nice. Now my part has been completed in Autodesk Inventor. Okay, I have mentioned the link address of my suspension model video in my description of this video. You can go this link to view the full modeling process of the assembly. Okay, I hope you will enjoy this video. If you may like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues. Okay friends, goodbye.